looks horrendous. This is horrible looking. I actually treated this area right here. I'm going to share with you how to do that. And as I said, you will not figure out what this is until you check the show more of the video description. All you do is take your little dabber. It's not olive oil or any of that. You put it on, you don't have to heat up or nothing. Let it set for about an hour and it's absolutely safe. And you can use a Q-tip to get into the crack in here if you have to. We'll just open that door up a little bit. Like I said, let it set for about an hour. And you can move the mirror so you can get in further. And this will look gorgeous. Then I'll show you what it looks like after it dries for an hour. And you know what it looked like beforehand. My suggestion to you, clean it real good with rubbing alcohol, let that dry, then apply this secret sweet Project Cars concoction and it lasts for months and months. Two different products, 50% of each. Don't ask me why they work. We just always are inventing here, trying to come up with really cool ways to do things. We've been doing this for a long time and it worked great. You let it set for an hour. As you take your finger, your rubber gloves, rub it in good. Make sure it's really in there. And then we'll go over the whole mirror to show you what it looks like. After you've rubbed it in good, very important process here. Take your microfiber cloth and you just buff it up. This is just putting the Flava Flav back into it. Or, in other words, it's putting the emollients back into the plastic. Look at that. Compared to what it was at the beginning of the video, make sure you go back and check at the beginning what it looked like prior to. And it, like I said, this will stay like this for a very long time. And if you're in a sunny area, let that sun just bake it in.